Hello, beautiful boss ladies. I think I changed it. Beautiful, brilliant boss ladies. How are you doing? I hope your week is going off very well. I hope it's off to a great start. Um, my name is Victoria Baylor. For those that don't know me, I am a mindset and business clarity coach. I work with high achieving women, helping them to get rid of those nasty mental blocks that they experience, such as doubts, fears, insecurities, imposter syndrome, and I help them to unlock and uncover their brilliance and convert that to profits through products, services, and exploring other opportunities. So today I wanted to chime in because I've had a particularly fantastic day. Um, I have worked with a few clients this morning and I have just, as, as with working with clients, which I love as a one-on-one -on -one coach, in addition to offering um, private coaching, I do offer group program uh, coaching as well, but I've been working with some private uh, clients today and got me to thinking, I need to do a video on this. I was talking with one of my amazing, wonderful clients and we were just really commenting on how we've been able to shift her focus and her business toward focusing on where does her brilliance lie? Like, what are the things that she loves to do? What comes easy for her? What are her strengths? How can she compound that? focus her interests, her values, like funnel it all together. So for people that work with me, understand that I don't like this whole wide approach. I figure, I feel like without boundaries, this is what makes you get up every day, whether you have a business or whether you are an entre uh, entrepreneur business or you're a professional and you sometimes can feel very frazzled because you don't have a focus, good old focal point. So it's so important that when I'm working with a client, for me to help her understand her natural wiring, like how was she wired in the sense of how does she think? Why does she think the way she thinks? What is her values? What are her strengths? Just all these components that are really, really important that I love to analyze and then kind of help her streamline her efforts. So she's using all her energy to do uh, the types of activities that are going to generate a, they're going to strengthen her brand, her brand perception um, out in her marketplace. And they're also profit generating activities. So what was really cool about today is that I was really commenting and working with this client, just really applauding her and all her hard work that we've been doing together because we found like a niche where she wanted to focus in, where we knew her superpowers could shine bright. We knew where her brilliance would lie. Um, and one of the comments I made to her when she was really you know, kind of responding back to the situation was, I said, you are, you have found your, your state of flow. Um, and you have found like your place, your, your sweet spot. You might hear it called that, but in the world of neuro linguistic programming, which I do use a lot of NLP approaches, sometimes the work I do, which of course, for those people that don't know, NLP is, is kind of like a, um, a method related to helping people better communicate. Uh, it also includes personal development. Also, in addition to, I think, psychoanalysis kind of meshed up in one. So it's a very cool approach. It really examines what's going on here and how that translates into the way we interact with others and ourselves. So with that being said, uh, I introduced the notion of the flow state. And that's what I, let me give you my flow state. I was, I didn't really, my hands were just too wide. <laughs> flow state. I got to stay in the camera. Um, and I introduced that notion to her and I kind of want to explain it here because I think it's so important to know. And again, 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 I can't express it enough. There is not enough of you to go around to everyone, to everything, to every idea, to every agenda, to every project. No, 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 no. You will wear yourself out thin. The important thing is to find that, to find what I like to always call, this is my perception of it, my perspective as a coach. I like to call it your sandbox, right? The goal is to find your sandbox. And by sandbox here, I'm referring to that idea of that flow state. So I'll talk about what flow state is, but let me just kind of give you a visual. Imagine if you had to create sandcastle but someone told you you had the entire three mile coast of a beach to do so so i live in savannah georgia i think our beach is around three miles long if i'm not mistaken 
if I had to build sand castles down that beach, that stretch of beach, oh my gosh, like that's first of all, that's too wide of a focus. How will people know, you know, you know, the minute I been, build something, what if the wind blows? I got to fix it. And then I got to run down two miles and check on my sandcastle there and then talk to people. That's what it looks like for a lot of you women that are in business or in your professional careers. You're all over the place. You feel like you don't know where to focus your energy, your attention, where it's going to get the greatest uh, attention for you, and the greatest benefit. Because you're like running down three miles of beach trying to show whomever is there, hey, look at this. And you're running back and forth and you're building. You, you can't build in a way that's going to get you attention. And you can't build in a profound way that's going to get you notice. Hence my idea of create your sandbox. So imagine sitting in a box where you're at now. Let's say it's about, I'm sitting where I'm sitting, maybe about four feet wide four feet deep, just four feet all around. You have a box here. Now I have a confined space of sand where I can build. So instead of building out, doing all these little tiny projects and, and focuses and all these things you're signing up for that's just use up all your energy, leaving you drained, leaving you tired. Instead of doing that, imagine building up. You know, those, you know, those elaborate sand castles that you see. I love when they have like those sand castle um, uh, contests where you go see people like actually create a car out of sand or create a massive castle. The, a lot of those aren't super wide. They're just, they're super in depth. They're tall, they're detailed. I want you to think in terms of what you're putting out there. Do you feel like you're running all over the place? You lack focus. You can't really zero in on what would be the thing you do that's going to get all eyes on you. Just like as if you were building a smaller sand castle that was more detailed and more it was big so that people could take a look at it. So that is the equivalence, that sandbox, so to speak. Your sandbox is an equivalence of your flow state. And again, from that, if you think of flow state or the way in which flow state is just flow straight, blah, I'm going to say it today, flow state, say that about 20 times fast. <laughs> if you can think about the way flow state is described, it is that place where you have your in most intense focus, you're being challenged, but in the best way possible. It's oftentimes a place also where you lose all track of time because you are in that flow, you are in grooving. And you're making magic happen. You're not necessarily overexerting yourself, but you're tapping into the brilliance that's naturally there. So I'm going to ask you, how much time do you spend in flow state every day? And if you're telling me like, oh, Victoria, you know, I own my own business and I am rarely in a state of flow because I'm always putting out a fire. Or I'm always running over and, you know, going to this event. Or I'm always over here and helping somebody with their initiative. Or I'm always being asked to give something or do something. If you are not tapping into your own flow state, then you are missing out on tapping in and creating the lifeblood for your business. You're not responsible to do everything and you're not responsible to help everyone. High achieving women are focused by nature. We have a drive to get things done. We have a drive to protect what's ours. We have a drive to make a difference. But as a high achieving woman, it's easy to kind of get a little mixed up, isn't it? I've been there. It's easy to get thrown off of what you should be focusing on. And it's really easy to do that when you have no idea what you should be focusing on in the first place. And you feel like you have to try a little bit of everything. So I want to help you here. I love this um, and I love seeing my client transition from a place of where she was doing a variety of things to saying that, hey, no, 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 no. I'm, I hired people that are going to handle that. My brilliance lies over here in this sandbox. Okay. So uh, with that being said, I was looking at a little board today and I don't know if you'll be able to see this corrected on your side or if it's going to be backwards, but it says, find your flow and your brilliance will shine. And by that, as you know, when I always say the word shine or I use it in my own business, I think of the acronym 
uh, shine, S-H-I-N-E, which is showcase your brand expertise, highlight your unique value, ignite your dynamic confidence, never back down from fear, and expect maximum compensation. So when you have the elements to shine, is it going to be hard to uh, profit? Are you going to have to beg people to give you opportunities? Are you going to struggle to get people to notice you? No, when you're brilliant, you stand out easily. But so many times we as women choose mediocre over being focused and being in flow. So I'm here to arrest your attention today. I love, you know, I love you. And you know, I know you're brilliant. (laughs) That's why I'm here. So I'm here to grab your attention and just say to you, get you to think, are you playing in your sandbox? Are you doing too much? Are you in a state of flow? Or are you just like a ball of yarn? Just, just everywhere. So, and I also want to just kind of provoke you that if you know that for certain you are not shining because you have not tapped into your flow, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Because high achieving women are action takers. What are you going to do about it? If you can't cut everything that keeps you away from your goals, that keeps you from experiencing the authenticity and the connections and the impact that you want, that prevents you from getting the profits you want to receive. I want you to examine what are you doing every day? And trust me, I've had to put myself through the same scrutiny, so I'm not picking on you, but what are you doing every day? Where is your time and attention going? And if you are not spending a sufficient amount of time being in a state of flow where you are focused and you know what you're supposed to be attacking and you know exactly what you provide that is relevant and brilliant, you know how to translate that into products and services that's going to get you to the goals that you have established, going to allow you to make that impact, then you need to hit pause. Hit that pause button. Stop, 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 stop. (laughs) And you're all over the place. And let's reel you back in, okay? So if you need help with that, that's what I specialize in. My job is helping you to gain clarity, to help you get rid of the gremlins that are over there telling you, you gotta be doing all this stuff. uh, And the gremlins that are out there telling you to feel insecure because you you know, you, your heart or you're drawn to something versus something else, or you're worried about what other people are going to say, or that you might not feel you have the education to be able to pull this off. Uh, uh, uh-uh. Let's get rid of that. When the brilliance is there, when you got the sandbox and you were skilled, you can just build. Okay. So with that being said, I just wanted to jump in again. I'm Victoria Baylor, a mindset and business clarity coach. Love spending time with you ladies. Just wanted to jump in. See, are you in a state of flow? If you're not in a state of flow, you need to get in a state of flow. You need to call me, (laughs) email me, visit victoriabaylor.com, of course, and sign up on my mailing list anyhow to be um, included with my newsletter and to see all of the great trainings, information I'm going to be releasing and unleashing and all the new insights that um, you can possibly gain, which is awesome. And then also just comment and let me know that you connected. I love connecting to amazing, brilliant, high achieving women and I um, love to see what you're going, doing and where you're going. So with that being said, you in a state of flow? If not, stop running up and down the beach, get in your sandbox, get clear, get focused, tap into your brilliance. If you need help, I can help you and be the amazing, brilliant boss lady that you are on the next level. Well, and take it to the next level. How about that? All right, ladies, I will talk to you later. Bye.